Hi right, everybody, welcome back to Farm Boys Garage. Today we're looking at a 1993 Chevy Silverado with a 5.7 liter. And we're going to cover DTC code 13 for this vehicle uh, and any other engines except the 4.3 liter. The 4.3 liter uh, is different because it has a heated oxygen sensor. The 505774 s all had a single wire, so those are the ones we're going to cover today. All right, so for the 57, the it has one. This truck has one uh, O2 sensor. It's located underneath the uh, on the driver's side on the manifold. I'll zoom in for you. Right there, right up under the uh, steering shaft see where it goes in right there it's got a black wire this wire comes up right here it's got a connection right there so this black wire goes to the to the uh, O2 sensor but up here at this connection this is a purple wire right here so at the uh, ECM you have your purple wire coming from the oxygen sensor you also have an engine ground going into the ECM and this is the uh, oxygen sensor ground and the ECM is going to supply a voltage of about 0.45 volts or 45 millivolts between the ground and the sensor so if you measure with a 10 mega ohm digital voltmeter this may read as low as 0.32 volts the oxygen sensor varies the voltage within a range of about 1 volt if the exhaust is rich to about 0.1 volt or 1 uh, or 10 millivolts if the exhaust is lean. The sensor is like an open circuit and produces no voltage when it's below about 600 degrees or 315 degrees Celsius. An open sensor circuit or cold sensor causes an open loop operation. So this thing don't even work when you first crank up a cold engine. It's got to get hot. A DTC-13 will set if the engine temperature is greater than 176 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius. It's been at least 40 seconds. Uh, the engine's been running at least 40 seconds since it started. The oxygen sensor voltage is steady between 0.35 and 0.55 volts. Throttle position angle is above 6.3%. All conditions must be met for, for about four seconds. If the conditions for a DTC-13 exist, the system will not go, in, go into closed loop. So to check this, we need the engine to be at normal operating temperature. You want to run the engine above 1200 RPMs for two minutes. You should go into closed loop mode. Now, on this one, you're pretty much going to be having to use a scan tool because uh, you don't, you can't see whether you're not in closed loop or not any other way. you got to talk to the computer. Uh, if it does not go into closed loop, then you want to disconnect the O2 sensor, jumper the harness 412 to ground. So you want to disconnect the oxygen sensor you want to go jump this purple wire to ground and your scan tool should display O2 voltage below 0.2 volts or 200 millivolts with the engine running. So if it doesn't, remove the jumper with key on, engine off, check voltage of the purple wire using a digital voltmeter at the O2 harness connection, so at this connection right here. You should read 0.3 to 0.6, if you read 0.3 to 0.6 volts, or 300 to 600 millivolts, you got a faulty computer. If you read over 600 millivolts or 0.6 volts, you have an open ground, or a faulty connection, or a faulty computer. If you read less than 3.3 volts or 300 millivolts, you have an open uh, circuit on your purple wire, a faulty ECM connection, or a faulty ECM. Now up here, going back a few steps, when you jump this to ground and, uh, and you read voltage and it reads below 
200 millivolt, then you have a faulty O2 connection or a faulty O2 sensor. It's probably going to be a sensor, you know, chances are. Uh, it's a good idea to change these sensors out at least every time you change spark plugs, which is every, about every 30, 36,000 miles on these trucks, something like that. Just as regular maintenance. So, hope this helps. If it does, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for more.